Hello, this is going to be a really quick video because I only bought a few things at this Hobby Lobby. I was um, in the Mississippi area this past weekend, so I thought, hey, I usually do my um, Hobby Lobby hauls and all my hauls based on really like locations. <laughs> so I was in Germantown, Tennessee. Well, I was in Mississippi and went to Germantown and so it was so close it was like maybe 25 minutes away i know some people might say that's far but hey that's is can be across town depending on where you live so anyway but this is what i bought i bought these um nail head studs with brats and i bought these belt buckles two belt buckles belt buckles were originally 249 i got them for 69 cents and I bought a purse frame, which if you look at some of my other videos, I bought them too because they're on sale. Three twenty nine was the original price, and I got it for eighty two cents. And I want to make some purses. I used to hate these when I was little, but now I'm in love with them, and I'm trying to make them. Now this is a hydrating lip mask for lip care, and it was originally five ninety nine, and I got it for one forty nine. And I'm just trying it out. It's honey. It doesn't have a tint. They said some of them do have a tint, but it doesn't have a tint. And uh, I'm going to just try it out. I can't give you a recommendation to or not to right now. But it wasn't too bad of a waste of money. I, this is worth trying out. So I bought it. Now what I'm going to, you know, of course, belt buckle. I'm using make belts. And what I'm going to do is go to Tandy Leather. <laughs> because I don't know if Hobby Lobby has belts. But all the same, they have belt buckles. But I don't, I mean, I could do fabric. But all the same, um, they have the belts there. And what I was thinking is, at first I didn't want to do belts, but now I was thinking, wait, I could practice my carving, um, tooling, leather tooling, what would be considered leather carving, and use the belts and just kind of do some girly designs. Because they always do men stuff. I want something for a girl. I like girl stuff. Because what? I'm a girl. And then what I was thinking of using these was um, these rivets. Um, it's in a leather design. But then I was thinking, you know what? Before I put it on leather, I probably want to put it on fabric and sew a purse. So I might do that first. They were originally one ninety nine, and I got them for forty nine, and I bought a whole bunch because you know why? I was thinking I probably probably would put my initials or a design of a flower or something in there and on a purse because that's what I like. And because I wouldn't put it on shoes, I wouldn't rub it on my feet, I wouldn't put it on clothes, even though I know people do, and I could line it, but I don't want to do that. I would probably put it on a design for a purse. And you know how you see the purses with it. I didn't want the ones that had the spikes. These are flat. And now if I could have gotten some smaller, that would have been even better. I saw a purse design with some smaller, and I was like, oh man, that's cute, and I really don't like um, studs and stuff like that and nail heads and all of that but I could make these work I put a lining in that purse so it wouldn't rub against me when I'm reaching in there yep so I got these eight packs and I got some more so I'll probably make a bag for me and somebody else or several bags for myself all the same this wasn't a big haul but let me tell you something about this Germantown Tennessee store this is the one, 1991 Exeter Road, because I think it was one on Park Avenue or something. I didn't get to go to that one, you know. Like I said, we were busy hanging out with family, doing a funeral, um, you know, relaxing, just all of that. And it was a nice, easy trip up from Birmingham. You just get on 22 and go right there. Are you coming from that area? You just get on 22 and come down. And But it was a really one of the biggest Hobby Lobbies. It was even bigger than the ones in Atlanta. So I don't really know how big Germantown is normally because I didn't try to do that kind of research. But if I had planned better, I would have gone to some other stores too. Um, I did go to the Michaels and Olive, um, Olive Branch where I was staying. And I did get a haul in Olive Branch from Hobby Lobby. But this store was magnificently big. But we went so late until it was about to close and I just grabbed a few things. That's about all I could grab. Um, if I probably had stayed longer, I probably would have found more things. And it wasn't just that it was a bigger store in that where my store might carry a few of a certain amount of items. And I say few, I mean enough for enough people to come in. But they had like a lot of stuff. 
Like, you know how those flamingos are in there? They had a bunch of flamingos, like, just lined up. My store has probably two, maybe three. They had about five or six. So it was, like, twice the size of my store, that the stores I'm used to going to. It was magnificent. I mean, I had to try to rush around there quick. I don't even think I got around to the whole store before they ended up closing. Because, like I said, I went in, and it was probably 15 minutes left. But I was like, I'm going to use my 15 minutes, and I'm going to go through <laughs> and get stuff. But I'm sure they probably had stuff I hadn't seen before, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I saw the diamond dots and, you know, all the normal stuff that we like to get. But this is kind of what I got. I'm not mad at it. I had fun. It was a rush. But I did that and got some stuff that I'm going to use. So this is a short video. Just like I said, kind of just highlighting that I went to a Hobby Lobby and another store. It's almost like, you know, how you go to a Hard Rock Cafe and you get a t-shirt for each place you've gone. Because I do that too. <laughs> I didn't see that they had a Hard Rock Cafe. But anyway, they had a Hobby Lobby and I went there and got a haul. I went to the Michaels, like I said, in Olive Branch and they didn't have anything. I didn't get to go to the ones here. Now in this area, they had about another Hobby Lobby that was kind of down the road because I did pass Park Avenue. But, like, it was going to be closed by the time I made it there. And, it, of course, it's open on Sundays. We made it a Friday evening. You know, I went to the one in Olive Branch then, and this was Saturday night. And so Sunday we were going to be leaving. So I did what I could, still had fun, got the wheelies out. You know, that's a child song, get the wheelies out. When you know you're going to have energy and you need to be relaxing. And so this helps me get the wheelies out. And I did. So I hope you all, for what it's worth, enjoyed this simple and short video that I did and hopefully I'll be showing you some projects that I've used with the items hope you enjoyed it happy hauling like subscribe and press the notification bell yeah that's the things I'm supposed to say um but all the same even if you don't just enjoy the video because I enjoy you all bye